breaking into the world of professional snooker is no easy task. That's a lesson learned by many of Asia's best amateurs. Many of them have struggled to make a living playing the game, even though nine of the last ten amateur world champions have come from Asia. One of those is Pankaj Advani. The Indian was the 2015 champion, but struggled to adapt to life on the professional circuit in the UK, which stages the highest number of major events. It was a huge change in terms of the culture. Uh, I also felt that um, staying away from family, having not much of a social life, uh, you know, I don't drink as well. You know, after a point I said, you know what, I've had enough. You're spending thousands and thousands of pounds every year, close to about 25,000 pounds a season. And there's no guarantee of any return because it depends on how you perform. Advani is now playing billiards on the professional circuit, which has a more international roster than snooker. Over here in Doha, they're battling out for this, the Asian Amateur Snooker Championship. At the very same time in the UK, the world's best professionals are fighting out in Sheffield for the World Snooker Championship. And there is one Asian country that's making a collective impact. Ding Junhui is one of five Chinese players to make the last 32 in Sheffield, and he also made the final last year. Snooker being on China's national school curriculum, there are more than 1,500 snooker clubs in Shanghai alone. Nonetheless, there's optimism that the rest of the continent can catch up. We will build up a ranking, Asian ranking events. So when the standard of China brought back to Asia, and then uh, if the other Asian countries compete with them, for sure they, they, the whole standard of the Asia player will be booming. Asian countries are now holding their own tournaments with cash prizes. China now has four world ranking events, while India staged its first such competition in 2013. But the biggest prizes and the majority of the world's most wealthy players still come from the UK, and Advani remains skeptical about the prospects for top billings for Asian players. I feel that it will be a challenge going forward for any Asian player to go there and settle down uh, and actually perform to his true potential. Earnings for snooker players pale in comparison to the salaries and sponsorships earned in sports like football, but they can earn millions at the top. For now though, the money seems to be out of reach for most players outside the UK. Sohail Malik, Al Jazeera, Doha.